Welcome to A Comic Book Orange, I'm Casey McKinnon, and this is your weekly comic book and graphic novel review show. This week, we're giving our best picks from Top Shelf Comics' latest releases. First up is American Elf. From the viewers of Lord of the Rings, Orlando Bloom as Legolas in American Elf. From Middle Earth and Texas. Actually, American Elf is a daily webcomic by James Kuchalka, a diary of his life and the people and places around him. The strip can cover anything, a joke shared among friends, Kuchalka's frustrations, or a quiet moment in time. It actually reads like going through the archives of somebody's personal microblog. Funny enough themes emerge, like the joy of being a new dad, his love for his wife, and Kachalka's growing success. In any case, he delivers it with a whimsical charm, though sometimes he goes for a more raw image. Some might say Kachalka's art is childish, but its simplicity and form and color complement the brief, open, lighthearted thoughts captured in the strip. Plus, Kachalka demonstrates he can go all out in the art department. Today's strip of American Elf is always available at AmericanElf.com, but if you want to see past strips, you will either have to register or pick up Top Shelf's collections. We give American Elf 4 out of 5 oranges. Casey? Casey? Casey! Stop fooling around and get to the review! Jeff Lemire's Tales from the Farm is the first part of his Essex County trilogy. Tales from the Farm tells the story of Lester, an orphaned boy who would rather escape on flights of fantasy than do chores on his uncle's farm. He instead bonds with the hulking, slow, local gas station attendant. Jeff Lemire tells the tale skillfully. Dialogue suits the characters, making them real, and Lemire knows exactly how to pace a scene so that while no action takes place, we still feel the tension between Lester and his uncle. The problem is that this is a tale we've all heard before. What small twists and turns that take place are predictable. Lemire's sketchy art does a surprisingly excellent job of capturing the equipment and wide open spaces of Ontario's farmland. But it's how it clearly communicates his character's thoughts that makes it special. We give Tales from the Farm three oranges out of five. Top Shelf also publishes Lone Racer by Nicholas Mahler. Lone Racer is a goofy little tale about a former champion sports car driver in the twilight of his career. Long past his successes, life's thrown him a few curveballs, and all he has left to look forward to are gripe sessions at the bar. Can he regain his glory? Okay, first thoughts when looking at the art may be, how can you read this? It looks disjointed and abstract. But Mahler's work actually grows on you, and you can clearly follow the story and action. It's that story and action that ultimately lets you down. Mahler has a good sense of comedy, where the best humor comes from the pairing of the narration with the panel, and each event or scenario in the plot is entertaining, but at the same time is mostly inconsequential. You come away feeling none of it matters, and given what happens at the end, you may be right. This could be Mahler's point, but since we're unsure, we can't really recommend this as a purchase. We give Lone Racer 2 out of 5 oranges. All Top Shelf comics can be ordered from your local retailer, Amazon, or the Top Shelf comic website. But now it's your turn. Go to acomicbookorange.com to submit your own review. You can leave feedback and comments on the show at pulpsecret.com. Finally, if you're a creator or publisher who wants us to review your work, send us an email at reviews at acomicbookorange.com. We'd love to hear from you, and...